What is up guys? Welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be making my very own fish attractant. So what is fish attractant you may ask? Fish attractant is basically a scent, a liquidy, nasty smelling thing to rub on your baits to mask the smell of your hands, of what you've been eating, of your drink, tobacco, whatever you have that might, att that might deter the bass. It can also be used just to catch finicky bass. If you have a finicky bass pond, use this attractant and you will catch all of the fish in the pond. So, I have some stuff. What you're going to need is you're going to need some garlic, some onion powder, some coffee, and some sea salt. Now let's get into the video. Stay tuned. Well, now we're in the video. You can't see my face, but that doesn't matter. So you're going to need a bowl. This isn't the exact amount of garlic, but you're going to need some... You're going to need some garlic. I already cut it all up. You're going to need some sea salt. I have the grinder, so it comes out more fine. You might need some olive oil or some kind of vegetable oil. But the most important is going to have to be the coffee. This is a little bit of leftover coffee. So first, we're going to start with the coffee. We're going to pour some in. Probably about a fourth of a cup. Enough to cover about like a thin layer of the cup. Not the cup, the bowl. Well, no, that's a better angle. So the next thing you're gonna need is we're gonna we're gonna use just a little dab of some olive oil. All right. So now you're gonna have some garlic and you're gonna put some garlic in. Mix it all around. Then the last ingredient that you'll need. Well, first let's stir this up some. Take and take a spoon. Well, what else would you use to stir? Oh, The reason that you need attractants is so, like, how you're touching the bait and stuff. You don't want to get the bait, like, the fish can smell what you've been touching. If you've been eat whatever you've been eating, drinking, and they won't bite. So, we're, the coffee really helps with that, to mask that scent. Right now. Alright, so, we just mix it up. If you can, and if your garlic was a little too big, you can try and, try and cut it with the spoon. Whew, that smells nasty. Next up, you're going to take some salt. Most of the time, if you look at, if you look at baits, you see that they usually say salt impregnated or extra salty. That, this also helps to mask the smell of your hands. You're going to want to add a lot of salt. And then you're just going to mix it up. Stir it up. And so, you're going to smell it at times. And if it's not as good as you would like it, you can add some more salt or you can add some more garlic. I'm going to add a little bit more garlic so next up what you're going to need you can put this in there you can do whatever you want we'll get some onion powder we're going to pour some in How about 
I'm gonna go back to mixing. Yeah, that all it smells good. Not good, but good attractant. If your garlic powder comes out onion powder, if your onion powder comes out chunky, you can cut it up with the spoon. So now our attractant is finished. It's mixed up fairly well. Now I would take like a spray bottle, like if you have an extra one of if you have an extra one of these Windex bottles, you can pour it in there if you made enough. But at the dollar store they sell they sell the little squirty bottles. But right now I'm gonna go fishing with this. I'm not gonna film it, but that's what it looks like. What you're going to need is some onion powder, some sea salt, some coffee, and some garlic. And that's all I really used. And we made... You can really freestyle with, with the attractants and do it however you want. Just until it smells bad enough that you think the fish will eat it. But anyway, guys, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you later.